just entered Townsville. I have another 13 minutes to drive and then I am at their doorstep. Darren and I, I'm on my way. Your destination will be on the right. So I spent the day with Darren and I yesterday. Got to see their kids and their grandkids and I's parents so it was a full house and it was absolutely lovely we um, caught up uh, all about the old days um, bringing back some memories and having some laughs and that was really nice they made me feel at home I just come in um, uh, just you can do your laundry you can use the shower get food get a drink whatever you want lie on the couch watch some TV so that's oh, that's really lovely I'm staying in their yard in their front yard perfect place to park so I'm staying here for a few days and we'll just see what happens Darren's going to take me down to a place called the Strand no idea where that is but we'll see uh, he wants to show me some some things around Townsville so I'm up for that that will be really great great to spend the day together and yeah we'll just see what happens <laughs> We did the J-car thing and we're now on our way to Kmart and we've learned that Darren wants to be my producer. <laughs> <laughs> he said, because I said, you, ha you have to help me out a bit, Darren. He said, all right, I'll be the producer. But what do you guys think about that? <laughs> Should I give him the control or not? Good. Yeah, you I'll reckon? Make good uh, okay, we'll let him make this video and you can say if it's good or not. <laughs> <laughs> this is just an ordinary day at the Perry family. It's a Tuesday. Look at this. This is the meal that Diane just made. It's like a feast. What do you reckon, producer? It's yummy. It's yummy? Yeah, very nice. Is it good? <laughs> Yeah, this is the yeah. chef cook. Oh, hey. hello! <laughs> I'm just saying. Can I come in with some more wine? <laughs> I'm just oh, saying. Too close. This is a um, a normal um, Tuesday yeah, meal that you just quickly made. Well, I didn't quickly make it, but it just appeared. Oh, on camera, it looks like it was quickly, <laughs> but it looks really good. good. Yeah, <laughs> yummy! I'm so oh, lucky. God. I've been doing some editing on my laptop, just sitting in my van, doing my work. Darren had to go to the store to get some things because he's off to his work again tomorrow. Um, he came up and he said, is there anything that needs to be done on the van, like maybe check the water or something like that? I said, well, you know, that's maybe a good idea um, if you show me how to do it because I don't know how to check the water, check the oil. I'm useless at that so I think it might be time that I learn how to do it myself so he's going to give me a lesson later and I also asked him if he would hang this up for me you remember that I've got it for weeks and I'm driving around with it and it's still not up there so he's going to help me No, until the next time. time. <laughs> no goodbye. <laughs> Travel safe, won't you? I will. Yeah. And I'll see you soon. You will. Or yeah, soon. Soon. <laughs> soon. Travel safe, yeah. sweetie. Thank Bye. you so much for having me. Oh God, anytime. <laughs> I will. I know where your house lives yeah, now. You know so. where I live now. <laughs> see ya. Bye. Oh. Thank you so much. Yeah. For having no me. problem. Thanks. It was good seeing you. I haven't seen and you for a long showing time. Showing me around and yeah, well, I enjoyed seeing a bit of town. Absolutely. It's a nice place. We enjoy living. Yeah. In. I'll be back. It's a nice, yeah, well, <laughs> I might drop go. in on your way back. 
Yeah, if I come through Townsville, I'll stop. I'll, oh, I'll, yeah, if you I'll don't. definitely. So I said my goodbyes to those beautiful people, and that wasn't easy, as it isn't easy ever for me to say goodbye. I hate that. Um, the first day we were here, Darren took me to the Strand, and it's a beautiful path. You can you can walk. There's some shops and some restaurants and and there's this lovely rock pool and it looked so inviting. So I decided that I'm going to end my stay here in Townsville with a dip in the rock pool. I arrived at Little Crystal Creek and at this place you can go into the water, you can take a swim but I don't think I'll be doing that now because it's a little too late in the day so I'm just going out to have a look, take some photos and then I'll head off to Big Crystal Creek. <laughs> I've arrived at Big Crystal Creek. That was only a 15 minute drive from Little Crystal Creek. And just over there is a campsite. So I might stay there tonight, I'm not sure yet. Um, and he, you can go swimming here as well. There's a waterhole, Paradise Waterhole it's called. So that sounds good. It's only 100 meters from here. I'm just going to check it out first if it looks as good as it sounds. I'm going back to put my bikini on and I'm going to take a dip. Do I want to go swimming with that? It looks pretty evil. <laughs> so I just arrived at Big Crystal Creek 10 minutes ago and I met this lady. She's from Germany and we've been talking and it seems like we're going to get along really fine. <laughs> So I'm going in for a swim and I'm staying the night at the campground and we're going to have a nice chat. Yeah, I'm in the campfire. Yay! Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> How nice is that? That is so such a coincidence. There is no one here. And then I hear this lady and she began talking to me and she said there's a turtle over here and I heard her accent I said where are you from she says yeah I'm from Germany so I said yeah okay we're neighbors and now she's telling me she asked me if I like festivals and music and well of course I do <laughs> so she said there's three things coming up and I said you know what I'm going to get my bathing gear on I'm going to come in for a swim and I'm going to camp over there tonight and we'll talk we'll talk later because it seems like we've got a lot to talk about I'm excited I love this <laughs>
just booked into the big Crystal Creek uh, camping site. You have to book, otherwise you can't stay, and it costs $7.25 a night, and it's perfect. And I parked next to Anna. Hello. <laughs> and she already has a fire going. Yes, uh, we need a little bit more kindling. to collect a little bit more. Yeah, it's a start. We'll, yeah. ma we'll make it work. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, it was a great night last night. We shared some stories, Anna yes. and I. Uh, our, our dingo stories and travel stories and it's so good to meet like-minded people and just have some talks and share some time together. This morning, uh, now we're going for a, a swim where we were yesterday and after that I'm going to find uh, some waterfalls and maybe gorges. Doesn't matter what, it will be beautiful, I know it. <laughs> Yes. But let's start the day with a nice cold swim. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the good thing about that is yesterday we were we made or she made a fire. And she brought the kindling. Yeah. <laughs> I went I went looking for the sticks and all, so I did do my a little bit, a little bit. But you know, you got smoke in your hair and in your clothes and whatever. So I'm going oh, all the way in the water. No, it's still going. Uh, uh. <laughs> So I can get that smell out of my hair. <laughs> and yeah. there is a, a cold shower here, so yes. Yes. I'll be taking a shower after we... But the creek is better. The creek is better. Yeah. yeah. So clear water. But do you use soap in the creek? No. Nah. No. I have got natural soap, but I'm not doing that. I'm just going to take a shower, yeah. a just cold water. shower, and then I'll be awake for sure. <laughs> <laughs> just said goodbye to this amazing lady and I'm off to other places. <laughs> Bye Anna, Bye. you're amazing. <laughs> See ya. Ah, I'm gonna fill up my water tank before I leave because there's a tap just over there. It's not drinkable water but it's only to do my dishes and to brush my teeth so always good to have a full tank of water so and then I'll take you to a waterfall Oh wow, oh I didn't expect this, I thought I was on my way to the waterfall but it isn't. What a fantastic spot to go swimming! Wow! So that was a complete surprise, I didn't know that was there. So the path goes down here and I thought it was to the waterfall but it's the other way through the campground. 
This is called Dram Dro Droma. Not sure, I'll put it in the... <laughs> to get to the waterfall, you can either drive there, but I decided to park my van up there and go by foot. <sighs> but my feet are going to get wet. Three kilometers allow one hour return. We'll see. I don't even know what time it is and who cares. I keep hearing these, <laughs> I keep hearing sounds in the grass, things moving. They're mostly birds, but I'm just looking to check if there aren't any snakes. I have just arrived to the top of the falls and this is absolutely stunning. The walk up here was a little difficult, no I wouldn't say difficult, but it's really hot and there are a lot of steps so I'm sweating all over but I think there also is the problem that I'm just not that fit anymore. But take a look at these waterfalls, there's not one, there's not two. <gasps> You just take a look. Now let's go check out the rock pools. They're down there. I decided to come up to the falls first and now go to the rock pools. I wonder if you can swim there. Not that I'm going to do that because I'm not swimming in my undies, but maybe put my feet in the water. I decided to go for a quick dip. I got my bikini on, it's too hot. I need to cool down.
spent the night at the Wallerman Falls campground. It's a Queensland National Park campground and it costs $7.25 again. You book it online, you can't stay here without a booking. Um, I don't know how big it is. Most people are parked around this green area near the toilets. Uh, I, but I think there are more spaces behind there, but no one's down there. It started raining last night, but that's not weird because we're in the rainforest. I mean, it rains in the rainforest. <laughs> and then look at these people. They made camp yesterday, put all their things out, went to bed. <laughs> Even the shoes are out there. Oh, that's the reason why I pack everything up, put it all inside because you just never know. I'm going to do the Wallaman Falls hike. I hope it doesn't rain anymore, but it looks really cloudy. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. They say it's a one hour hike down to the falls. Um, I'm looking forward to go walking again. I'm the first one to arrive at the the lookout. There's no one here yet. It's I don't know how early it is. I didn't even look at the clock. But I think we might have a problem. I don't think <laughs> the falls are viewable because there are so many <laughs> clouds in the valley. So this might be this might be a little problem. <laughs> um Oh, it does look good though. Oh, that's, oh wow. <laughs> I can hear the waterfall. <laughs> no, we can't see it. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, and do you know what? It doesn't even matter if I can see it or not. This is magical. This is beautiful. I love this. I love this. The height of, the, I see a sign over there. The height of the falls is 269 meters. And the pool depth below is 20 meters. Height above sea level, 540 meters. So you know that all? <laughs> oh, you can see just a little bit. reading the sign and I stuffed it up this morning it's not the Wallaman Falls National Park it's called Geringen National Park so that was my mistake uh, the waterfall is the highest permanent semi-drop waterfall in Australia and the walk down it's pretty steep so I'm not really sure if I'm going to see something down there with the clouds, but I'm going to try and do it anyway. <clears throat> yeah, let's go have a look. The Jinda Falls Walk is not for everyone. Be prepared for a steep descent on unstable surfaces. A moderate level of fitness is required to ascend back. Moderate rate of fitness. It is true what they say about this one. It's really rocky and it's really steep. So I think I'm going to have a hard time getting back up. <laughs> Made it. Oh, 
I am sweaty already. It's really, really, really a difficult walk. So I did rest a bit. Uh, I took, where's the path? Oh, <laughs> I met a Polish guy. We talked for like an hour. So um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty rested now. Yeah, I'm ready to go back up. I'm just going to take my time. almost 11 and I'm back at the campground I'm going to have a shower they have a shower here it's a cold one but that doesn't bother me at all that hike was it was pretty pretty rough so a nice shower is more than welcome this is it it's just basic don't need more than this perfect I stopped off at this place to have my late breakfast, early lunch, whatever you want to call it. Look at my view. Uh, I was cruising down the street and I texted Anna this morning and she just passed me. Look. She just passed me, we stopped and we were talking about whoo, about maybe going to Hinchinbrook. So there's no reception up there. She's staying there the night and I'm going down that way. I not, don't know where I'm staying the night. But I said, oh, I'll just look um, on internet, see how we can get there. and blah. So we might be doing a little day trip together. <laughs> that would be cool. Oh.